While the Rockies are still a ways away from becoming a playoff team in the series, we have playoff action today. Down at Double A with the Hartford Yard Goats and some of the top prospects in our organization. Welcome back to the series, everybody. Year two is nearly complete. The offseason will be happening this weekend. But before that, we are going to go through the Double A playoffs with the Yard Goats. Down there we have perhaps our top prospect in David Geronimo coming off a dominant first professional season at Double A and Triple A. I sent some players down whose seasons were over, but I wanted them to get this playoff experience. Tuki Toussaint, Zach Veen, there are some really key players playing in this playoff series that may be at the big league team as soon as next season. This series features the Hartford Yard Goats and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. We're going through this entire series, and I played some of these games in player lock. So let me know if you like this playoff format. It allowed me to record the whole series in a lot less time than playing all five games traditionally. But getting into this first game, David Geronimo. First draft pick of the entire series. He did exactly what we hoped he would do this year. But in the first inning with Binghamton up 2-0, JT Ginn strikes him out. We go to the second inning. Robinson Cano playing double-A baseball late in his career. And this one is sent flying to deep right field. Geronimo knows there's no point in even turning around to see. As that one leaves and Binghamton goes up for nothing. Hartford's got to get the bats going. Bottom four, David Geronimo at the plate with a line drive into right field, base hit. We brought down Geronimo to double A after a good stretch at triple A, but also Elijah Diori, who hit 22 home runs at triple A this season. This one's in the air to left field, and it's caught out near the warning track. Two batters later. Jose Gomez on the ground over to third. Geronimo out at second. Hartford can't get on the board. We go into the fifth inning, though, and Hartford does score. 4-1. Two on, two down. Geronimo at the plate. Big spot for him. He turns on the sinker in the air to left field. And that one is caught right along the foul line. And Binghamton still leads. It's a two-run game in the eighth inning until Dwight Smith hammers one to right. And just like Cano's earlier, it's out of here. And Binghamton takes a commanding lead in the eighth inning. Rumble Ponies trying to go up one game in the series. Here's Geronimo once again. Big spot, bottom nine, down four. Two aboard. Junior Santos on the mound. Not pitching Geronimo very aggressively as he walks on five pitches. Tying run at the plate. It's Elijah Diori, perhaps the best home run hitter we had in the minor leagues this season. And he hits it on the ground. Over to second, Geronimo's out and they double him up as the Rumble Ponies go up one game to nothing in the series. Not much offense in this one. For Hartford, as JT Ginn pitched six really good innings, striking out eight, only allowing the two runs. This brought us into game two, where Mickey Littlefield was set to pitch. He's in his first professional season, second round pick a year ago, just 19 years old. Actually got featured in an episode recently against this same team. Littlefield throws three pitches. Fastball in the upper 90s, change up and a slider over at second base. Nice throw to get the batter out. Littlefield two down facing Dwight Smith. There's the change up at 83, good location. And one, two, a filthy slider inside. Smith knows he shouldn't have swung at that. A one, two, three first for Littlefield. In the second inning, Robinson Cano who took Littlefield yard earlier in his first double-A start. He lines out to Michael Toglia. Then Will Toffee, 1-1. This one's hit sharply over at short, but a day Alamador with the play. Good start to the game for Littlefield. Hartford even gives him a small 1-0 lead that he has a chance to help build up in the bottom of the second inning. Two down, but runners at the corners. 
Littlefield right back up the middle. Diving stop at Shorts. And Littlefield is retired. Almost had the RBI. Really nice play. We go top three. There's the slider in at the knees. A one. Another slider. That's a really fun pitch with him. 0 oh, 2. And the fastball clips the inside corner at 99. That's got to be my favorite at bat of his in this game. Two down. And now down the line, that's Ronnie Mauricio, who took away that potential RBI from Littlefield earlier. The shortstop has a base hit. And then this one drills Littlefield. Toglia has to make the play, and no one's covering the bag, so the bases are loaded. They check on Littlefield, and this happened back in his first double-A start. He got drilled and then came out of the game. Base is juiced. Dwight Smith. Fastball missed, but Smith also just missed. Flying out to center field. Hartford still up 1-0. It's 2-0 in the fourth. Jeremy Vasquez at the plate. That one misses low, and the fastball misses high. Definitely control is the main thing I'm worried about with Littlefield as he does find the zone, but not where you want to be, right down Broadway. That is a double into left center field. That brings up Robinson Cano. First pitch, slider left up, it's going to left center, down for a hit. Runner had to hold at second, but nobody down. Will Toffey gets a slider left up, and that one is... Gone! That is a home run, three run blast, and the Rumble Ponies had taken the lead. When he misses, he definitely pays the price. Happened on a few pitches here as we got further into the game. And the slider is not one you want to leave up. Three to two, top of the fourth inning still. Nobody out. After the three-run home run, he walks Bruce Maxwell. Things are kind of falling apart. Here's a grounder, though, right back to him. He will throw to second to get the lead runner, at least. Two batters later, here's Ronnie Mauricio. And Littlefield gets him to chase a fastball low on the first pitch. Kind of gets lucky there. Gets out of the fourth inning. Same score as we go top five. Runner on, Dwight Smith, little chopper over to Toglia. Nice flip, return, and there is a double play. Two down, Jeremy Vasquez, two and two. Change up low, lined into right field. That one's not really on little field, just a really good swing. I don't know how he did that. That's followed up by Robinson Cano, striking out on a slider. Just got a piece of the outside corner. An up and down outing here for Littlefield. Only three runs allowed, though. It's not terrible. Hartford's got to get some offense going. Bottom seven, two on, two down for Zach Veen, who gets a curveball left up and just fouls it back. The 1 1 curveball is swung on and missed. He's in front of it. And 1 2, the fastball outside. Strike three, two left on base for Hartford. Not putting up. The offense I expected here in this series. Especially with sending down Geronimo and Diori to give them a boost. Geronimo falls behind. This is Tyler Sear. After the 0-2, Sear trying to get him to chase, but just not throwing anything all that competitive until the 3-2 and a really nice take puts Geronimo on first. Here's Elijah Diori with Geronimo taking off. Throw comes in too late Geronimo has solid speed he's a really exciting player in scoring position now Diori turns on the cutter deep down the line in right field but not deep enough and Geronimo tagging from second now he's even closer with one down in the eighth inning that brings up Michael Toglia 0-2 breaking ball once again too far out in front Sear trying to get out of the inning. Jose Gomez strikes out on the 98 mile per hour fastball. They can't bring Geronimo home. They still need a couple runs. Actually three now in the ninth inning as Binghamton added one more. Here's a drive. Luis Collado with a really nice swing in the left center. That's a leadoff double. 
Jacob Pearson. This one's in the air out to left field, and it's an easy play. All comes down to the final out, Adele Amador. 1-1 Chopper. Over to second base, and that is the ball game. And the Binghamton Rumble Ponies go up 2 to nothing in this series. It is a best of five. So Hartford is already in elimination mode, having to reverse sweep Binghamton to continue their playoff run. Here's the analysis on Littlefield, by the way. I, early on, found to really like throwing his slider, but that's the pitch that got him into some trouble in like the fourth inning, and that's where the three-run home run happened. You can see on the strike zone here where they missed, and they pretty much all missed right over the middle. So, still some things to work on with Littlefield, but I'm pretty excited about him. There are still some really good moments pitching with him. But this season's almost done for Hartford. They've got to get some wins. Here in the third, they are up 3-1. to one. I played this game with Elijah Diori, and he is retired in the third inning. Hartford up 6-1 in the fourth. This game going a lot better. Two on, two down, and the 2-2 count to Diori, who strikes out ahead of the curveball. Kind of a trend here in this series against Binghamton. But it's 7-1 in the sixth. Runner in scoring position. Guess who? It's David Geronimo stealing third base. He is so much fun. Now, at the major league level, his speed's not going to be elite. It's solid. But I'm really excited to see him there eventually. Spring training will be a chance for him. He's 90 feet away. Diori with the drive. Right center hit a ton. Back this one goes. A perfect swing, but it's caught on the warning track. Easy sacrifice fly, helping increase the lead. And thankfully in Game 3, Hartford's offense does wake up as they pick up a dominant win, 11-3. Tuki Toussaint, five good innings, three strikeouts, two walks. On we go to Game 4. Hartford leads again, 2-0. On the ground here, Amador charging and... Throwing accurately over to first base. Binghamton's offense now not getting it done. Three nothing ball game. Back up the middle. Little flip to Amador. And throw to first. They pick up the double play. In the eighth inning. Still three nothing. Ronnie Mauricio on the ground. Just a really good pitching effort. Good defense as well. And Hartford picks up the game four victory evening this series we got a really good start in this one from Carl Kaufman six and a third no runs allowed on eight hits Zach Veen went yard a low scoring win so we end up with a winner take all game five no player lock in this one could Hartford move on to the second round and end the rumble pony season well, on the mound in this one, we get Antonio Santos, 25 years old. Throws five pitches, and I think he pitched at both AA and AAA this year. Little chopper up the middle, and easy play. Next up is Adrian Hernandez. First pitch fouled off. That's 93 miles per hour on the fastball. Then he takes something off of it. 0-2, strikeout with the changeup. That'll bring up to White Smith. Santos gets ahead once again. And this one is going to get through. Curveball a little more up than I wanted it. And then a drive into deep right center. This one's in the corner. Bouncing around and thrown back in. Two in scoring position now. This is Robinson Cano. 1-2 line drive left field. Just past Amador. They send home the second runner that throws off line. Cano wants second. And the bad throw by Zach Veen actually put us in perfect position to at least end the inning. But it's 2-0 here in game five. Two down in the first inning. David Geronimo waste no time. Left center hit deep. This one's back. Geronimo out of here. Solo homer. Second of the series, this one goes 4-0-6. You want to see Geronimo stand out as the best player, and I think he's done that all season. In the second inning, 
Santos bouncing back as Maxwell chases the high fastball. With two down, it's the pitcher, Yenzi Diaz, and Santos picks up another strikeout, this time with the curveball. Let's go top three. Still a 2-1 ball game. One down, Adrian Hernandez. That one's in the air out to left field. Veen back at the wall. Can't bring it back, and that one is gone. 366. Had a chance to bring it back, but those are really difficult. 3-1 ball game as we go bottom three. Zach Veen at the plate, and he draws the walk. He also bats in front of David Geronimo. And Geronimo gets a curveball left up, and he just missed it. A little bit earlier, and that one might go where his first swing ended up. Elijah Diori pulls this one over to first, and the inning is over. Still 3-1. Bottom four now. At the plate, Michael Toglia having a pretty good series to this point. Falls behind 0-2 and lines one deep to right. It's back, and it gets out of here in a hurry. Slider up and in. Toglia ready for it. There's a solo home run. Second for Hartford. Toglia's got a lot of power, and now I have to edit him to be a switch hitter like he is in real life. He is the 2019 first-round pick of Colorado. Here's Hernandez, who went yard earlier. Now it's a single hit back up the middle. Dwight Smith up next, down the line, fair ball. Lucky bounce, though, limiting him to just the single, but runners at the corners. Binghamton already up by one. Jeremy Vasquez, good fastball hitting the outside corner. 1-1, one, one, ahead of the changeup. Santos ahead, 1-2. And the breaking balls hit on the ground. There is a 4-6-3 double play. No more runs here for Binghamton. Still a 3-2 game as we go bottom five. Adele Amador, 0-2, back up the middle. Mauricio at short, makes the play. Thought that one might get through. We take it now into the sixth inning. On the mound, David Valentine with Cano going deep to right field and missing a home run by 1.2 feet. 1-2. Two. This one is through the left side. Cano still getting it done. He's on first for Will Toffee, and this is on the ground pass, third base. Jose Gomez might have had a double play ball here, but just misjudged the hop a little bit. It's a two on for the Rumble Ponies. Bruce Maxwell, 1-0. This one's in the air, not hit particularly well, one away. Two batters later, it's up to the pitcher again, Yenzi Diaz, who drives this out to center. And it's a pretty easy play for Floyd Brooks. Remaining a 3-2 game going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Elijah Diori, 2-0 as he pulls a single into right field. Michael Toglia at the plate, 1-2. Could have gotten strike three right there, but it's called the ball. Eventually, count runs full, back up the middle on the curveball, left up, and back-to-back -back singles create something here for Hartford. Jose Gomez, he hits this in the air out to left field. Easy play, and it's the second out. Here's Luis Collado, sat back on the curveball, but just hits it right to second. Hartford still down one. As we get through the sixth and into now the eighth inning, Michael Peterson on the mound. Will Toffee two for three. Two and two count. Off the plate with the fastball. He gets him to chase, keeping this a 3-2 ball game. But the yard goat's got to add a run. Zach Veen facing Tyler Sear. He picks up another strikeout. Sear giving us a lot of issues. Geronimo, he's late on the swing. And despite that, despite that jammed contact, that's how far it goes. Geronimo is so good. Even his outs are impressive. Two and two to Diori, and it's right at second base. 
Really good swing. Can't get it done. So we go into the ninth. Desperation mode for Hartford as Gonzalez tries to keep it a one-run game. He picks up the quick strikeout. And then a ground ball to Amador. End of the top of the ninth. Now, Hartford needs to add a run or their season is over. Leading off, Michael Toglia facing Junior Santos, whose first pitch is right over the middle. Left center rolling to the wall. Toglia on his way to second. In Coors, that could be a triple. One day. He's in scoring position already. Here's Gomez again in the air, but now to right center field. Toglia set up to tag and head to third base. Now you just have to bring him home. Luis Collado. 2-1 in the air to left field. Back this one goes. It's deep enough to tag Toglia. And Hartford has manufactured the third run to tie the game. And this would go to extra innings. Where apparently there's no extra inning rule in the minor leagues. I didn't know that. Ronnie Mauricio leads off. Line drive. Center field off of Brian Gonzalez. Two batters later. Dwight Smith with a ground ball over to third. Good play by Gomez. And they turn two. Nothing for Binghamton. Hartford set up now. Tie game. Bottom ten. Pinch hitting. This is Oscar Fernandez. That's a drive. Right center field. Hit well. It's back. It's gone. Oscar Fernandez. Walk off home run. How about that for a double A playoff comeback. Reverse sweep of Binghamton. Their season is over. And the Yard Goats will move on to... The League Championship Series. I think there are three rounds in the double-A playoffs. But we are moving on with that dramatic come-from-behind victory. Really fun five-game series here with Hartford. They made it dramatic, losing those first two. And then finding a way to win three straight. Great job by Fernandez. Big three-for-three three day for Michael Toglia. Geronimo hit a home run. He's looking great and maybe ready for the bigs as early as next season. But here is your game winning hero, Oscar Fernandez. Brought him in really because I thought he could just reach base with that high contact. Powers in the mid 40s. He won't hit a ton of home runs, but that was a perfect swing. And we're moving on. Now for Colorado, there are only four games to go in that regular season. We'll finish it out against the Cincinnati Reds, see if we can get to 70 wins, which was the goal for this year. But then we also have more playoff action with the Hartford Yard Goats if you would like to see that. Let me know and I'll begin to record the next episode very shortly. I know videos have not been super frequent recently doing my best to get everything kind of back to normal on the channels but really excited about finishing out this season and getting on to year three with colorado a lot more baseball on the way please leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all next time have a great day